Hey friends, today we're going to use Ableton's built-in reverbs and delays to make interesting sounds and transitions so that a potentially boring groove um, is a little bit more fun to listen to. So here's my potentially boring dub groove that I wrote. No way. So yeah, there's a million different ways we can go with this. So first of all, I'm gonna identify the places where there's space and maybe where there's fun things to do. So there's a spot of space right there. I, I have everything also uh, still on a drum rack for a reason, and I'll show you that here in a second. But what I think could be fun is to just have a classic reverb reverse on the snare hit. So how would I do that? Well, first of all, I can solo just the snare. Okay, so I've got it soloed. And I can grab a reverb, reverb, and I can, you know, maybe dial it down a little bit, make it fully wet, and turn up the decay time to pretty long. All right, so snare. So there we go, that's a little reverb sound for the snare drum, right? Okay. Might need to just turn it up a little bit. Okay, cool. So now that we've got a little reverb sound on the snare drum, now I can, I mean, it might sound crazy, why would you put a reverb on a drum track? Well, check this out. I'm gonna say input from drum rack one, right? And post mixer is by default uh, selected here. So now all I have to do is turn on the arm button and I can capture, right? I captured in time that reverb, right? So now I have reverb, I have material to use, right? All right, so I can just, now that I've got this reverb, I can go back to the drum rack and turn off the reverb and I'm also gonna unsolo the snare. So now we're back to our OG groove. And this is my area of space that I'd like to fill up. So what I can do is I can move this over. If I double click on the title of this clip, I can go down here where it says reverse. All right, so I'm just gonna hit reverse, boom. Now let's go ahead and listen to what is going on now. I've got, this is gonna be pretty substantially ridiculously loud, but let's find out what it sounds like. That could work, I mean, that's kinda cool. But you know, you have more control over it than that. You know, first of all, this last little bit, the reverb is kind of building, building energy and then dissipating, right? Cause it's in reverse. What I can do is I can slide this over a little bit Beep. slide that in a little bit and you also if you you know you can push the little a button to see the automation or to see the fades i can look at these fades and kind of really just dial this in exactly how i want it so let's see what it sounds like now this will make it more uh let's make it tighter right see there we go okay cool so i'm just using material that's already here to generate reverb let's do it again let's figure out something else maybe with the bass right so There's there's space here over this base uh, in this section right here, so don't whoop. So instead, let's maybe grab an echo. So I'm gonna put echo on just the bass hit here. I'm gonna listen to this. So this is uh, echo is automatically set on dotted mode. I'm gonna put it on notes mode. And as long as these are linked, you can change one of the sides and it'll change both sides, right? So whoop, 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 whoop. Let's do quarter notes. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to turn the dry wet all the way up so I can make sure I got it. I can put a little reverb on it too. That's kind of fun. All right. So I'm also going to turn the stereo width down of the reverb so we get a nice centered reverb. Okay, so now I now all I have to do is this new track right here. I'm going to, you know, capture the output of Dubby Boy, which is my bass. I'm going to capture the output and have it for material. So let's just go ahead and do it. Record. Okay, so now I've got this reverb delay material, okay? So now I can just go in here and now that the... I'll turn this echo off or delete it. Don't worry about it. It's just, it doesn't matter. Just... Just cut it out of there. <laughs> so now I'm gonna, uh, 
open this guy and I will reverse it. Okay, so now I got... That's kind of cool. So maybe... So as you can see, the, the, the clip is kind of not necessarily in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, kind of get in here and zoom in a little bit. I can see that the beginnings of these delays are kind of off. If you hold Command and you click on the top of the clip, you can move it till it's just right. Okay, so now we've got a just right delay situation. That's kind of cool. I don't really need that first one. Or I could make it like this. That's kind of cool. All right, sweet. That little beginning, it made a little click sound. So I'm going to pull this back just a tiny bit. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to go back into the drums and I'd like to do a kind of stereo snare delay. So I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna solo the snare drum. Okay, this guy. And I'm going to grab a delay. And you can go a little crazier with this. So, you know, you can, you can design the sound before you record it. So I'm gonna grab an echo. And I'm also gonna turn off looping so I can get this to last a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go into my delay. And I'm also going to add a redux at the end of it. Why not? And we're gonna downsample this delay sound a little bit. Let's see what, this, see what we got. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So now we've got this kind of downsampled sound. And the other thing is that I can add automation and I can record that automation later. So maybe that's what I want to do, a little, a little downsampling over time. So hit A so I can look at the automation lanes, click on the automation lane that I want, click on this and kind of All right, sweet. And I'm going to turn the feedback up so we can get just a little bit more of this and make sure this automation is just right. Okay, cool. So now we've got this kind of long thing. So I'm going to make a new audio track. I, mean, I could I could just capture this into any one of these tracks and mix with the... In fact, tell you what, that's what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to say post mixer from the drum rack. It already is set up. Look at that. Okay, cool. So record... Okay, so now I've got a really long sample here, right? All right, so this is now material that I can use. So once again, I'm gonna delete this junk, get it out of there, get back to my original sound. So I've got, whoops, gotta make sure I un-solo the snare. Okay, so that might be cool the way that it is, but we're kind of having fun with reverse. So I'm going to get in here and lock this in time somewhere that looks cool. And shorten this to just there. I'm going to reverse this and see what we got. <laughs> Pretty sweet, right? So now we've got... <laughs> okay, cool. You can also mix, let's say we felt like this effect was a bit loud and you're like, well, I can't mix it over here. What you can do is you can go into the track gain or the clip gain right here. So that's, that's this little slider. Yeah, I could just pull this down a little bit, right? And now I'm essentially mixing within a track. So let's just keep going. Um, something I'd like to do is maybe just like a center reverb for one of these dub sounds, right? So just a da on one of them. So this note right here would be a great candidate for that. So I'm going to get a really long, I'm going to get a really long mono reverb uh, with, with no width. Um, and I'm going to make it real long. I'm going to kind of get some of the mid range here, turn it up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Not enough of the low end. Cool. So in this case, as you can see, what's happening is that my, that next note is happening. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll select this, okay, and I'm going to hit Command E, and what that does is it kind of cuts out a little section of this of this guy. So now I can just click on these other 
clips and hit zero. So that means that I basically just deactivated everything except for just the note that I want, okay? So now I can go into, let's do this on track four since the other bass effect isn't here. And I can say, record from Dubby Boy, post mixer, and let's go. Okay, so now I've got this big reverb blast. And in this case, I mean, timing doesn't matter at all whatsoever, right? So now I can just go back in here, hit zero, clicking on the title bar, hitting zero, and now the bass line's back, okay? And if I want to, I can just kind of pull this back over so we have one continuous clip. And now I have this reverb to work with. So I also don't necessarily want the reverb to happen when the note happens, so I can hit A, pull a little bit back, and this is probably gonna be one of those situations where I wanna mess with the fades. Let's just listen to what we got. So I have to go back into Dubby Boy, get rid of my reverb, and now I'm back to my original groove. So obviously that was real quiet. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit, and now I'm gonna work with where I can put this in the mix. Sounds like right there would be a great place, okay? So I've got this note that I know that's in scale because I'm using my existing material to make these effects. I'm gonna just pull that back just a little bit so we don't get any clipping at the beginning. And I'm gonna wait until I find the next hit to duck that reverb out of the way, so check it out. So I'm now just gonna cut this back right before that next hit. Let's see what this sounds like. Duh. <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right. So yet again, that's just another section that we can add something uh, to generate interest, right? You know, so another thing we can do is I can just copy this, put this again right here. <laughs> and maybe I'll just change the pitch of it. All right, see what that sounds like. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah, I hope you had had fun watching this. This is just a uh, just a way to use existing material within your set to create effects and transitions and stuff like that. All right, if you like this kind of thing, like, comment, subscribe. Much love, everybody. Thanks for watching.